trifecta. Mm. Our Sunday night game, Red Sox and the Yankees, folks. Yankee Stadium fans all fired up on ESPN HD. Presented by Phillips, John Miller, Joe Morgan, and Samantha Ryan. Enjoy it. Now in our 16th season as our national pastimes game of the week. This is ESPN Sunday Night Baseball. Edgy and alive, hard and fast, crackling with energy and light. New York will always be known as the city that doesn't sleep. But when the Red Sox come to town, that all changes. The eye-popping, pulse-pounding pace of the day gets put on hold because the only thing that matters is beating Boston. Excited to see the Yankees play in the Red Sox. It's a holiday weekend, so I came up from Florida to see the Yankees play. The Yankees opened with the big unit on Friday night, but it was the Sox who scored first. Jason Varitek's two-run homer in the fifth gave Boston a 2-0 lead. But in the top of the sixth, with a chance to extend the lead, the Sox had two runners gunned down at home plate, keeping the Yankees close. Then, in the bottom half of the inning, the Yankees' offense took over. Gary Sheffield hit the second of two straight homers, and that powered the Yankees to a 6-3 Game 1 win. Beating on the Red Sox. Yeah, they can't beat us. They can't beat us. Good. Last year, it was lucky. It was lucky. It was lucky. Luck. Don't get them this year. It was a curse. Matt Clement uh, throwing today, and I saw him pitch last Sunday. He used to be throws anywhere near like he did last Sunday. Uh, and the Yankees are in trouble today. Well, that Sox fan proved prophetic. Clement stepped in and silenced the Yankee bats with six shutout innings, and the Red Sox offense was awesome. They pounded out a hit after a hit against a defenseless Yankee pitching staff. The Boston bats just continued to pour it on. A grand slam by Renteria. A three-run shot by Trot Nixon. And a solo homer by Jay Payton. Just a taste of the 17 runs and 27 hits. The Red Sox hung on the Yankees. What an embarrassment. This was absolutely, George, the worst game I've ever seen in my entire life. It is a matchup that means so much to so many. A cold-blooded rivalry, for sure. But also a warm family tradition. Binding generations of fans, sharing one simple truth. There's nothing as intense as Boston, New York. Now, game three, the rubber match next. It's the big city of New York. And right now, when the Red Sox are in town, all roads lead to Yankee Stadium, the big ballpark in the Bronx, as Reggie Jackson used to call it. There were Red Sox fans here, but not too many of them. You'll see a lot of Yankee hats here tonight. Sunday Night Baseball on ESPN, presented by Bank of America. And tonight is those two great old antagonists, the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Hello, everyone. I'm John Miller, along with Joe Morgan, and welcome to Sunday Night Baseball. Now, the Boston Red Sox had 17 runs, 27 hits. Big Red Machine never did that. Not 27. No. All right, so they get a hit. But, as the old Yankee manager Casey Single once said, 50% of this game is 90% pitching. And I never exactly understood what that meant, but the Red